I've never been high. I'm nervous. I don't know how I'm gonna oh, feel. Yeah. See, mom? Uh huh. Aren't you proud? Uh huh. I've always heard that edibles are just on, put you on a whole nother yeah. type of high. What are we making? Today I'm making canafe, which is filo dough with ricotta and mozzarella, and I have uh, mascarpone, and I mix that up. Right here, you're gonna see me infuse with the water soluble THC. So you see how it measures out by the milliliter? Okay. So we're gonna go down just one drop, basically. Can I smell that? Yeah, absolutely. Do you smell any cannabis in there? I don't. Damn right. When you started cooking with weed, was it just because you like to get high and you like to cook, so damn. <laughs> I was so sick of having the brownies and the Rice Krispies. There was no other alternative. It was brownie or Rice Krispie from every drug dealer ever. Right. And they all tasted like <laughs> So what I did was start to put it into like puddings and cakes and stuff like that. And then um, it grew into a more savory application. How do you know what to infuse? Well, I infuse it based on what I can control because it all comes down to proper dosage because if you get people too messed up, it does not fare well for really anybody involved. Now you are about to do something real big. We're opening up the first cannabis infused restaurant in the world, yeah. I know, I know. The first really in the excited. world? Yeah. Is that legal? There's a lot of things, hurdles that we have to jump. It's gonna be done and it, it should be done by people that know what they're doing. I don't know if you've ever been uh, too high off an edible. I know you said uh, that you've never tried any, but uh, for those of you that have, <laughs> for those of you that have, sometimes it can be extremely overwhelming. So we only put it in certain ingredients so that we can control it. If you didn't want cannabis, we can just take that ingredient out and replace it with a non-infused item. Okay. That way people can enjoy the experience on their own. How did you come up with your name? I didn't want it to be like, ganja chef or weed chef. Right. So the herbal chef was kind of natural and it also is THC, the acronym, THC. which is our beloved tetrahydrocannabinol. I'm just gonna take oh a bite. Oh my God, it's so good. Ah! All right, so what do you say to the people who have never tried an edible before? We do it in such a way that it gets you lightly elevated so that you're never overwhelmed. You don't want to just dive in right away, right? You want to dip your toe in, you want to take your time, you know, take you just easy. ease in. Yeah. yeah. You can have a long, loving relationship with cannabis, but you gotta take it slow. Chris, that is so good! You like it? Mmm. Yo. That, that's where it's at. 